Hello to you newcomers and welcome back subscribers. This is Big Baby Props and I'm the Big Baby. Today we're going to be continuing our 3D printed clone trooper armor tutorials. In today's episode we're going to be working in Armorsmith Designer and Mesh Mixer a little bit to properly scale and size our armor to make sure that it fits to us. I'm going to begin in Armorsmith Designer with a blank template and we're going to be working with the helmet. In Armorsmith Designer there are tons of measure points around your body that you can edit. You're going to want to get a flexible tape measure and measure all these points around your body. So once you have your avatar built you can start importing objects to attach to it. I've already imported the phase 2 helmet over here so we'll go to attach costume part and here we see a bunch of gear icons these are snap points that you can attach the armor to. They're all over the body, but we're going to work on the head. So we can see that it's a little bit uh, tilted up. So what we're going to need to do is use some of these basic transformation tools up here. The ones I use the most are just basically move and rotate. So let's select our object, move it. You can move it in a straight line in any of the three X, Y, or Z directions. So then we'll go rotate. We'll rotate it down a little bit. There, that looks a lot better. And you basically do that for the rest of the armor. Now I feel like I have a pretty average body build. I might be a little tall, but that's not such a bad thing in this case. Um, I actually didn't have to scale any of the armor I imported here. And you might be saying that, well, it doesn't really fit perfectly, but we'll go into that later. So I'm going to go over an example of what you would have to do if you wanted to scale the armor in order to fit your body better. So let's go back over here. Let's hide this helmet quick and adjust our head a little bit. Let's say I start watching Rick and Morty and my head gets a lot bigger to compensate for my enormous brain. So when we go back to attach our helmet, you can see that it's just not big enough anymore. So what we're gonna have to do is do some basic scaling. Now, Armorsmith does have a uniform scale option, but uh, I usually advise against it because uniform scaling uh, well, it does just that. It expands it in every direction equally, which is not usually what we want. Usually we want it to be wider or deeper, but I wouldn't recommend adjusting the height too far. We're going to be using Mesh Mixer. Uh, it's a free program that I discussed earlier in my videos. We're going to use this to adjust the scale in a specific X, Y, or Z direction. So let's just start from scratch. Okay, so here's our original helmet. Uh, this is the one that doesn't fit me anymore. So what we'll need to do is go to the Edit tab here, go to Transform. Now this um, has all sorts of different, like uh, translate, rotate, but what we're looking for is the scale option here. So we can scale it in like any direction we want. That makes it wider. This should make it deeper. Let's look at that again. Okay, there it is at one and 1 1.5. Or we can make it taller, depending on which, oops depending on which X, Y, or Z we adjust. So if we look back at our armor, and we try and move it back onto our head. Let's go ahead and adjust it. So what are some things we need to adjust? The height is almost perfect. You can see the chin poking out there a little bit as well as it's not tall enough so maybe 
adjust that 5%. And it's also not exactly wide enough, so maybe 10 to 15%. And it's not very deep at all, so we might need to update that as much as 30%. So let's go back in Mesh Mixer. And I forget which one controls depth. It's height. Let's go 0, 0,5. Now let's go 1 for the height. For the Y. Okay. You know, that might actually be good. A 50% increase in scale. And for the X, let's try and make it 1.3 times bigger. So I'll accept that. And if you want to export the model in the workspace, you go over here to export and we will override this big head mode that I was working on earlier. And we'll import that into Armorsmith and see how it looks. Okay, let's hide this guy and bring in our big head. Okay, so let's rotate it a little bit. Wow, okay. So height is good. Height is very good. Width can probably use another 10 or 15%. Depth, I don't know what happened to our head here, guys, but our head is very deep. So we'll go back in Mesh Mixer and transform some more. Now it did reset the scale back to like 100% since we accepted it and well since we accepted it that's what it accepts as the new 100% if that makes sense. So God, I keep forgetting okay that's height so leave that alone now this is X, so this might need another 15% in depth. We might just, uh, I think that's too much, maybe that much. I feel like that might cover our freakishly long head. So we'll accept that, export it, and now we'll import the new one back into our workspace. So we'll hide this one and bring in this monstrosity. Okay, so maybe we went a little crazy with the depth scaling. But width looks pretty good and height is good, but We'll still need to adjust that depth. But anyways, you guys get the idea. This is how I manipulate the size of the files in order to fit my body if need be. So let's go back to my armor here. Now, you might see that, say, look on the chest here, we've got some orange body parts sticking out. If you're like me, you'll think, well, that means that the armor is too small. I need to enlarge it to the point where I don't see any more orange. And I learned it the hard way that that's not exactly the case. I was making an armor for somebody. He's kind of a bigger guy. So I scaled it until the point where I couldn't see any orange. And it just came out laughably huge. So, so what I use Armorsmith Designer for is mostly a, a rough look at how it's all going to fit together. If I want a more exact measurement or a more exact indication of how it's going to fit on me, I could either print out the whole thing, try it, and adjust from there, which would really suck if you got it wrong. 
or I could do another method that I'm going to show you now. So let's take the chest piece for example. So it looks like it'll be too small, but let's bring it in to Mesh Mixer and I'll show you guys a cool strategy. So now we're going to use Mesh Mixer to chop up our object. What we're going to do is we're going to make a thin slice of the chest armor to a point where we can measure it against our body. That way we don't have to print the entire chest piece which would take a lot of resources and a lot of time. Instead we can print a very thin cross section of it and then measure it against our body. So in order to slice the object we are going to go to edit, plane cut, and now this plane that came up that's your think of it as your knife that's that's where it's going to cut through the object so if we want to move it we can use these arrows and this um, I don't know what you'd call this shape but to tilt it if you bring it out your mouse cursor out to, to this ring here it will snap to five degrees so let's go to 90 uh, I kind of want to get a full cut of the armor, so let's go down there. Um, you can change your options up here if you want to discard this grayed out part, or you can keep it. Uh, let's go ahead and discard it for now. So now we have a smaller portion, but we can go even smaller. So if we select plane cut again, and move it out to 90 degrees again. We can make this section as small as possible. This is going to mean that we can 3D print it as quickly as possible and with minimal resources. So there we go. We've got a thin cross section of what the chest will look like at its current scale. So what you can do is print this out, measure it on your body, see if it is too small, too large, or just right. From there you might have to adjust your scale a little bit more, but at least you didn't commit to printing the full piece of armor. This strategy works for just about any piece of armor you want to try, so feel free to apply it to different parts. I definitely use it on the abs, the biceps, and definitely the thighs, some of those parts that you know have to you have to squeeze your body through. In the next video, we're going to actually go into preparing the objects to print, slicing them up in order to fit on the print bed, and the best way to print your armor for for wearing. So thank you guys as always for your support and for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.